the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, <clears throat> his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. <clears throat> Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, <clears throat> but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass away from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We certainly pray for all those who have died from COVID-19 around the world. And we pray for an annihilation of this virus and of such other viruses. Certainly we do that. We've been, but we also are thinking of our economy a little bit, aren't we? You know? And I was, uh, I was visiting with a friend of mine in another town, former parishioner, and uh, she just built a nice house not too long ago. And, and uh, in 2008, she lost a couple hundred thousand dollars you know, when we had that recession. And <clears throat> she was losing sleep worried about if she was going to lose her house. She was very upset about that. And uh, so we were kind of talking about that and praying. She says, you know, my son gave me some good advice. And I, I think it was inspired advice, really. Uh, the, the son said, well, I want you to imagine that you lose your house. What would you do? Well, I'd just move to a simple little place, and we'd survive and do OK. You'd be OK, right? Yeah. And, and so he, he also said, advise him, just live in you know, then take it like like the worst scene, and just take the worst scene, and you're going to survive that. But then he said, in the meantime, live the rest of these days as if you're not going to lose it with great faith in the Lord. And that was great advice. Well, then I was kind of <clears throat> praying. I said, let's just kind of pray about this. And as we were praying, I kind of saw her as just a little girl at that point. And as a little girl, I saw her kind of, she was planning a party. And she was all fretting about her party. She was going... Are they going to have a unicorn there? Are we going to play pin the tail on the donkey? We're going to gun for apples. You think Susie's going to be able to come? I don't know. Right. Where? What are we going to do after that? What movie are we going to go watch? And she was all just concerned, just as a little girl. And I could envision Jesus right beside her, just going, "Oh, I just love you so much. You are fretting about so many things. Just relax. I'm God. Be at peace. I got this handled." And that really helped her out at that, you know, that whole sense of Jesus as. But then something, I think this is going to go in my book that I write about uh, ordinary miracles with extraordinary messages. I don't have any Elton John downloaded on my phone. I had my phone off. It was in my pocket, and it just started playing a song. And just at that time, just started playing this song. I'm going, well, apparently God wants you to hear this song because it just started. It, you know what? This is your song. Guess what the title of the song was? Your Song by Elton John. No kidding. I didn't know what it was. Your Song by Elton John. And it talks about if I had money, I could build you a big house, you know, or I could sculpt you this. But then, uh, how wonderful life is when you're in the world. How wonderful life is when you're in the world. And so I said, I think what the Lord's trying to tell you is if you live in a tent or if you live in a mansion, Life is wonderful because Jesus is with us. And he says, tells us not to fret about what we're to eat or wear. Uh, look at, consider the ravens, consider the lilies of the field. Hey, he, God is God, and he loves us. If he feeds the, the little ravens, the sparrows, and he clothes the, the grass of the field, how much more will he clothe you, oh little of faith? So uh, this is a time of returning to faith. 
Uh, we've all been praying, haven't we? Oh, Lord, this world's going to hell in a handbasket, right? Please reverse this trend. This is a, this, God is going to ride straight with crooked lines here. And he's, re, he's reversing the trend. He's reversing the trend. Okay? And he's bringing faith back to this world. And faith obliging it again. I predict that when we return, our churches are going to be packed because people are feeling the loss right now. And I, our revenue is going to go up too. By the way, ACH, if you want to have a church to come back to, you need to keep, wherever your church is, you need to keep giving. You know, do ACH, uh, uh, automatic withdrawal, mail your offering in. We want a church to come back to. You need to do that practical thing too. So let's just have faith in the Lord. Let's let's let's. Do everything we can in our power, do our best, and then we trust the Lord with the rest. Let us now bring our prayers and intercessions to the Lord. <clears throat> For all leaders in the church, may Christ, the source of their wisdom, strengthen their hearts as they teach God's law in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those responsible for public policy, may God guide them in enacting laws that uphold the eternal law of truth given in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those oppressed by any evil in the world, may Christ bring about justice and sources of healing for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the Holy Spirit give us wisdom to understand all that God teaches and grace to receive Christ's help in our moral struggles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the perfect peace of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank and praise you so much for your goodness. We thank you for every human being on earth, starting from conception to natural death. And we ask you, Lord, to let this be a ta time when we return to you and help us to entrust all of our cares, every single care, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, uh, financial, relational, everything into your care, Lord. We ask that you would hear all of these prayers and bless us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let us be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who, sac who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. 
And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed <coughs> and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Along with your intentions for this Mass, my intentions are for Pat Sherman and for Terry Schumacher Morell. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in union with you, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be in it. people who are watching right now to make a spiritual communion at home. When I receive the Eucharist, this is what I say, and you can say this even if the Eucharist is not there. I say, Jesus, I accept you into my body, my mind, my heart, my soul, emotions, my entire being, and I give my body, my mind, my heart, my soul, my emotions, my entire being back to you. So you're giving yourself to Jesus, you're receiving Jesus, and you're giving yourself back. And this is definitely happening right now. Those who are watching, this is happening for you. Let Jesus touch you right now. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleanse us of all errors. Make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will be streaming every day at 10 o'clock this Mass. And we will be also posting it onto YouTube uh, to be seen. Hopefully we can get it there by noon. And so you'll have a couple opportunities to enter into Mass and continue to make a spiritual communion. I'd like to thank everyone who joined us uh, on this streaming uh, video. And uh, we hope to see you often. Uh, 
the Lord loves you so much. I love you so much. And uh, there's nothing that's going to come on earth that can stop us from connecting to the Lord in faith. He, in him we live and move and have our being. He's with us at every moment of our existence. So, so Jesus, the good shepherd, is walking with us. And he says, do not be afraid. I'm with you. Trust me. Every moment of every day, I'll see you through this. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go.